Job's faith in God was tested. Hezekiah's faith in God was tested. Jesus' faith in God was tested. And your faith in God is tested. We are in a battle over our faith. And the only options are faith in God or doubt. Job lost all of his livestock and his crops, which would be his wealth. So today's equivalent, that would be if you lost your job, your house, your car, and all of your money. Job also lost his children, and Job lost his own health, yet he still praised the Lord. Hezekiah was a king over Judah, and Hezekiah was unique because he was the first king over Judah that not only served the Lord with all his heart, but he spread his faith across the whole kingdom, and he declared that the whole kingdom was going to serve God. Up until that point, there were false idols and all of these high places and temples and worship to false gods that was going on, and Hezekiah was the first king of Judah to do away with all of that. So naturally, his public declaration of faith in God and God alone was tested. A few years into King Hezekiah's reign, the king of Assyria came up and he captured a few of the cities of Judah, and he threatened to overtake Jerusalem. And he sent messengers, and this is what they said. And do not listen to Hezekiah when he misleads you by saying, The Lord will deliver us. Who among all the gods of the lands have delivered their lands out of my hand, that the Lord should deliver Jerusalem out of my hand? Hezekiah still had faith in God, though. Even though everyone, everyone heard that in the city, he still had faith in God, he still put his faith in God, and he called his country to remain in faith to God. And guess what? God delivered them. Jesus, his faith was tested. His faith was tested by the devil himself. And his faith was also tested several times by everyone who was around him, but specifically the scribes and the Pharisees. And each time Jesus' faith was tested, his response was the word of God. Jesus was constantly asked questions that were poisoned with doubt. Doubt that he was Messiah. Doubt that the Father really had sent him. But each time someone tried to plant doubt into his heart, he shot back with the word of God. And in doing so, he was replying with faith. Faith cancels doubt. Faith conquers doubt. Three times Jesus' response to the devil was, It is written, it is written, it is written. Each time he quoted God's word. He spoke it. And he was more than just rehearsing rhetoric and repeating speeches that he had memorized. He felt it. He believed it. He put unction behind his confessions of the word. And I want to read to you a passage in Matthew 22, where the Pharisees, well, tried to make Jesus doubt once again that he truly was and is Messiah. So Matthew 22, starting at verse 41. Now while the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them a question, saying, What do you think about the Christ? Whose son is he? They said to him, The son of David. He said to them, How is it then that David in the Spirit calls him Lord, saying, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. If then David calls him Lord, how is he his son? And no one was able to answer him a word, nor from that day did anyone dare ask him any more questions. Friends, oh that was high. <laughs> Friends, the word cancels doubt. You fight doubt with the word of God. It's interesting to me that each time we see Jesus being tested, his faith being attacked, he doesn't respond by doing a mighty miracle. He doesn't respond by, you know, sending locusts on the land. His response is the word of God. And since Jesus came to show us how we're supposed to live, I firmly believe that is why when he was attacked with doubt, 
when they attempted to get him to to give up his faith he always responded with the word of god i think he did it because that's what we're always supposed to do that's how we fight this battle of doubt and in these last days that we are in oh man <laughs> there is a lot to fear isn't there there is a lot to be doubtful of it is very easy to slip up it is very easy to just get discouraged and get depressed and wring up our hands and our hearts to fail us for fear of things to come. But we are told this is all a battle and we have been given the power and the authority in the name of Jesus to win this, to overcome it. So every time, every time, every time, if it's, if it's someone speaking to you, like a person, like I am right now, or if it's your own thoughts, Every time you feel doubt, every time you feel fear or discouragement or low confidence or low self-esteem or you start to question, is this, is this really what I believe? Speak the word of God. Speak it aloud. Two things happen when you speak the word of God. Number one, every single force that is against you without question must submit and flee. In Luke 10, 17, the disciples were very excited uh, after having gone out. They were sent by Jesus to cast out devils and to heal the sick and to preach his word. And they came back to him saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. They were so excited because they knew nothing, nothing can stand against the word of God. Nothing can stand against the name of Jesus. Nothing can stand against the blood of Jesus. And the second thing that happens when you speak the word of God your faith comes alive. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I will not pretend to know how this works. I just know from my own experience, okay? I'm not just saying this to you because it's what every Christian's supposed to say. I live this every day. When I speak the word of God, the doubt is silenced. And sometimes you have to do it a few times. The devil tempted Jesus three times before he left him. The Bible tells us to resist the devil and he will flee from you. So be strong and be courageous and be brave and trust in the word of God, knowing that it is your sword in this battle and it is your shield in this battle and that nothing can overtake you in this battle of doubt versus fear. I hope that this was helpful to you and I hope that it strengthened your faith and that it encourages you to go and seek out some scriptures that you can you can use personally right so find a scripture that is specifically helpful to whatever battle you're going through because it's not just doubt that the Word of God defeats that's just the topic of this video thank you all very much for listening I pray that you continue to keep your eyes on Jesus and look up because our redemption is drawing near bye